Hi everybody, we want to show you today how to make some Finding Dory edible slime. My kids really wanted to come up with a series of edible slimes and this is the first one in the series. So for this, you will need these awesome Finding Dory gummies that I found at the grocery store. I made two versions. One is kind of a darker color and it's made out of Metamucil. The other one is a lighter color of the sea and it's made out of just a uh, psyllium husk powder. So I'm gonna give you the recipes for both and then you decide which one you like and you can make that one for yourself. So this is a great idea for parties or if kids are just excited about Finding Dory or Finding Nemo. All right, for the first one, I took two tablespoons of Metamucil. This is the orange flavor and it does have an orange color. I combine that with two cups of water. I mix that in with a packet of blue raspberry lemonade from Kool-Aid and I also mixed in at about a half a cup of sugar. All right, then I put it in the microwave and heated it up for about two minutes until it started to bubble a little bit. Make sure you use a microwave safe bowl. Then once it's a little bubbly, I mixed it and put it in for another minute. Then I mixed it again and put it in for two more minutes. One thing I learned, make sure you use a big enough bowl because it starts to bubble and then it just bubbles right over the side. Okay, so when this one was done, I took my Finding Dory gummies and I put it all around. The kids really liked this one. I didn't think it was super slimy. I'm thinking maybe you could put in a little more Metamucil than the two tablespoons, but I put it in the fridge and then it really got jelly and really slimy. One thing I noticed on this one though, the blue kind of comes off on your fingers. So just keep that one in mind. Okay, for the next recipe, I got the psyllium husk powder, used two tablespoons of that, put it in a microwave safe bowl. For this one, I put in a blue raspberry Kool-Aid lemonade, a cup of sugar. I combined that with two cups of water. I mixed it all up. This one I needed to take out the whisk though because the psyllium husk powder, uh, it's kind of clumpy. So I took that, really mixed it up well, put it in the microwave for two minutes, stirred it up a little bit, put it in for another minute, started to get bubbly and kind of slimy on the top. Then I put it in for two more minutes and this time it really bubbled over. And, but I just took my spoon and just kind of put it back inside the bowl. And this one I didn't even need to put in the uh, refrigerator. It just was slimy and thick and the kids really liked it. And this one, the kids loved the taste. So I would suggest on both recipes, uh, instead of a half a cup of sugar on the first one, use a full cup if you want it to be really super sweet to eat. Uh, if it's just for slime purposes, you don't need to put in the full cup of sugar. And I wanna know from you, which one of these edible slime recipes do you like the best? The dark blue one, it's kind of clear. The downfall of this one, is it's not as slimy unless you put it in the fridge for a little bit or the lighter blue color this one's a little lighter blue because i think you didn't have the orange and the psyllium husk powder that you did in the metamucil so you probably even add another packet of kool-aid if you wanted to that one so comment below on some of the edible slime you want us to make in the future we're going to do a whole series for halloween so be sure to subscribe turn on those post notifications Give us a thumbs up and make sure you share this video. We really want to reach 200,000 subscribers. We're at 100,000 and we know we're going to have to push ahead, but we really would love your help. So thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.